What is something people are not ready to hear? You're not a bad bitch. You're not a queen. You're simply in denial that your life sucks and you're probably a shitty person. And you use that hard ass attitude to justify your existence. <laughs> that's, you know, that's probably true. All the uh, Cardi B fans that love this empowered music, but really your life probably actually does suck. Um, that's it's something that people don't want to hear, but it's it's true. George Washington crossing the Delaware, 1776. Okay. All right. We got these nice 4th of July memes. This one's cheesy. I can't get behind this one. Get it? He's crossing him, crossing him up in basketball. Dumb. My seven-year-old nephew just came to me and said, look, I made some binoculars. I said to him, that's nice, but look what kids your age are making in China. It's actually a fact check true. This is more proof that our public school system is failing. Look at what the kids in China make. That's unbelievable. That is... <laughs> All because I said no to bingo night. Grandpa, coward. Grandpa, miss call. Hey, I would say no to bingo night too. I mean, you're going up against all of these old timers that have their own daubers. They bring rolls of tape to tape the corners. I mean, it's serious. Bingo is serious. So you're not a coward to shy away from that. All right. If you don't own your own dauber, you're not going with grandma and grandpa. Just don't do it. Texting my GF another girl is flirting with me. She bent over literally and bent her You're ass in my face. She You're such a... Oh, that's messed up, man. Hey, at least you know she likes you. She's look obviously gets really jealous, so that could be a problem in the future, but... When she finds out you're an Air Force meme lord who likes pineapple pizza. <laughs> uh, that's actually how I won her over, yeah. Memes and pineapple pizza. So that's a fact check true. And also, any of you wondering, like I said before, about a month and a half ago now, uh, there are more pictures on Instagram finally. So if you want to see more pictures from the wedding, head over there. Game Warden, anything on your boat that shouldn't be? Me. Just you, buddy. <laughs> hate that. Ah, I hate that so much. Did you hand me that marker? <laughs> Which marker? Which fucking marker? The African American one? Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's <that's> amazing. <laughs> Everybody, free Britney! The universe. Best I can do is free Bill Cosby. Seriously, though, like, what the hell is going on right now? Bill Cosby admitted to giving women quaaludes. He's on record saying this. Like he actually raped women and he's out of prison now. This is a wiener retriever, just like your mom. Real dads show no mercy, even with our own kids when playing Mario Kart 64. Ain't no participation awards over here, fam. Yes. Oh, look at that. What a what a jerk. Oh, that's amazing. But that's what you have to do. You have to teach your kids how to lose. You do. You have to learn how to lose without getting a trophy for it. So this is great parenting in 2021. I hope more people do this. Carl Nassib comes out as gay. Republicans. Cool, man. It's a free country. Do whatever you want. Leftists finding out he's a Republican. <laughs> it is funny and kind of sad, honestly, that... Um, the, the side that panders to the certain groups of people, um, when they found out that this guy didn't have the same politics as them, they stopped pandering to him. Pathetic, really, that this is where they are. They don't actually care about that stuff. They don't. And this is more proof. That story died. Nobody cares anymore. Once they found out where he stood politically, didn't get much attention anymore from those places. Would you rather 
Meet Cardi B? Wipe with Vic's tissues for a whole week. I love democracy. I'm a little bit concerned that some of you actually picked Meet Cardi B. And if you haven't voted yet, head over to the community poll. Leave your answer there. <laughs> that actually looks real. I don't think they're making this a joke. I think they're actually riding on that train like that. He's just helping his buddy out. And here we are making fun of him. How dare you? Come on, stop making fun of this guy. He's just trying to get a free ride on the train. New LeBron James action figure comes with real flopping action. <laughs> King Flop. That's his name now, King Flop. Walking into Planet Fitness for the first time. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, dude. I just, I wonder how many of these people are actually serious. What percentage out of those five or six people, how many of them do you think were real? And how many of them do you think did it for the talk? I'm going to go 80%. 80% are real. I ain't a smart man, but I would rather see our Olympic team lose every event than send athletes that are ashamed to represent the country that gave them that opportunity. I agree with this. I would rather not even have a team than send athletes that don't even like the country they represent screw them they don't get that opportunity when you try to help the kids in need but they're all racist unbelievable <laughs> uh but this is a fact check false though because black people cannot be racist we know this you guys that's not possible so this this is a fact check false get over it mom why there's nothing in refrigerator you're gaining weight that's why you're just jealous because I have bigger boobs than yours. That's the point, Eric. You shouldn't have bigger boobs. <laughs> wow, that's offensive, mom. I can't believe anyone can have boobs these days. We know this. This is, wow, anti-scientific. This is transphobic. This is disgusting. When gas prices are $4 a gallon, but Biden says you're saving 16 cents on your barbecue essentials. Yeah, what'd you guys do with your 16 cents? Don't you feel rich? Thank all praise the mighty Biden regime. 16 cents in your pocket. What a bunch of jackasses that they had the gall to brag about this. Jeff Bezos started Amazon with a $300,000 investment from his parents for 6% of the company. Amazon is now valued at $1.5 trillion. Your parents invested $200,000 into a gender studies degree, and you are now valued at $11 an hour. And they get a stake in that $200,000 of debt. Asked him politely to wear a mask completely refusing Chiltern Railway. Says he's not exempt, but doesn't have to slash want to, and it's optional. How unbelievably selfish. Said he's fine about me tweeting his picture. It's all so awful. He knows I'm upset, but couldn't care less. <laughs> Give this man a medal. For if, for anything, even if you don't laugh today, like this video and give this man the props he deserves. This lady, Sarah, blue check mark, get over yourself, move. Don't go on the railway if you're scared. This guy, I love this guy. This is amazing. This is amazing. Welcome to Wendy's. We're gonna get you. <laughs> Yo, Grow up. Grow up. Especially anyone that laughed at that. Grow up. That's childish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was gonna go to the Olympics, but then I got high. <laughs> hey, it's her fault. The rules are the rules. I think she should have been able to do it. I do. But she shouldn't have done it, obviously. It's the rules. Stupid. A visual representation of what I do on Facebook. <laughs> um, I recommend you just do that until you get suspended. And then just don't ever use Facebook again because that place is a cancerous cesspool. But good on you. Good on you. Governor Cuomo, we want to do with gun violence with what we just did with COVID. Everyone hide your grandparents. <laughs> Cuomo actually said this. This is like one of the ultimate gaslighting statements of 2021 so far. What a jackass. What a jackass. Wait, so people can say whatever they want? Yeah. Oh, let's give them guns. LMAO, this country's going to be lit. They knew what they were doing. They just wanted to have a big old party. When you finally meet her after months of talking online. Ooh. 
Yeah, don't get catfished, boys. Ladies, too, don't get catfished either. Ladies get catfished as well. Do your due diligence. No one. Absolutely no one. Not a single soul. Twitter. This person has an opinion. Let's burn them. <laughs> Twitter is one of the least productive places on the planet. Nobody is changing their mind. Nobody's there to have a productive conversation. Uh, it really is another cancerous cesspool. It truly is. Nobody. Drunk girls walking home from the bar. <laughs> Yeah, that was, I did not pay for this, but um, I did see the clip. It's pretty disgusting, obviously, but this is a very good depiction. McGregor, you're like Bambi, dude. Get it together. Oh, come on. No, dude. Really? You're at a game? You're at a public event and you're doing this as an adult? What is wrong with you? If the earth was flat, cats would push everything off the edge. There we go. Proof that it is round. That's true. That's a fact check true. Cats would do that. Are you two friends? Martin Luther King and BLM. No. Yes. No, no, they're not friends. Martin Luther King actually preached treating each other with respect, treating each other, judging each other on character, not skin color, but BLM does the opposite. They absolutely do the opposite. They preach that one group is bad, one group is a victim. Treating each other differently, not treating each other equally. That's, they're not friends, no. When you break something and fix it just enough so the next person who uses it thinks they broke it. What did you do? <laughs> What'd you do, Richard? Don't do that. Take responsibility, all right? Unless, of course, that other person deserves it. Hiroshima, 1945 and 2010. Detroit, 1945 and 2010. The lesson? It's easier to come back from a nuclear strike than five decades of Democrat control of government. That's a fact check true. That is totally a fact check true. Society's problems. Let's see who's really behind it. Bad parenting. <laughs> I would say 95% of our problems come from that. You guys have any guesses? Let me know in the comments. Payday. Payday Candy Bar is changing its name because it's offensive to those who don't work. And again, I would laugh at this, but we're at the point where I could see this happening. I could see this happening. And we're worried about everyone's feelings. Even people that don't work and payday is offensive to them because they don't get a payday. So you've discovered Gorilla Glue is the best hairspray and Tide Pods are tasty. But do you know about the cotton candy in the attic? This is a dangerous meme because I know there are people out there that might take this as truth, so don't share this one. Witnesses have told authorities that the George Floyd mural was struck by lightning before it collapsed. That happened last week. A lightning bolt hit George Floyd's face on the brick wall and exploded. Just happened? I've never seen lightning hit a building like that on the side of the building. Maybe it's God saying something. I don't know. Miss Monopoly. We're the first game where women have the advantage. Chess. <laughs> yeah, like, how come this is never brought up? The queen dominates the game. The game revolves around the queen. The king is whatever, dude. Look at the look at the king. He sucks. The king sucks in chess. The queen is the best. Patriarchy debunked, man. Hey, mom, what's the difference between a light bulb and a pregnant woman? What, Jesse? You can unscrew a light bulb. <laughs> Grow up, dad. Grow up. Just when you thought I seen it all. I think we've seen one like this before. At this point, just buy a new car. Seriously, dude, that's an expensive rig. And that car, I mean, I mean, your generator and the AC unit might be worth more than that car at this point. Maybe not. Used cars prices are insane right now. Rick Astley. Never gonna get here. Oh. An embroidered QR code jacket patch brought me here. The guy selling the jacket. I applaud that. Anyone who goes to that length, they're sewing on QR codes to jackets for a laugh in the future. Maybe it'll never even happen. That's next level. I love it. Took a knee and took an L. Yeah. Again. Like I said, this was them before the game, before Sweden, before they lost 3-0. This is what happens when you focus on stupid things. 
You know, you lose track of what you're there for. It's almost like that time you guys lost to those 15-year-old boys. That actually happened. This team lost to a group of teenage boys. Love to see it. I hope they lose... Again, I hope they lose all of them. The dangers of a one-sided story. Another great example of how the media covers things. Love it. To whichever effing genius who decided to name the new strain Delta F you. Welcome to the suck. Yeah, whoa, hey. You know, we're changing the names of the countries to be sensitive, right? We need to be sensitive to these corporations too. This is just not fair to them. U.S. just finished dead last among 46 countries in media trust. Ah, oh, sorry. Did someone lose public trust after decades of selling lies for the ruling class? Yeah, you get what? I can't believe this. Lost trust? No way. Not a chance. The, and the worst out of 46 countries? Wow, I wonder why. My parents said I could be anything. So I became the underside of a school desk. I love Post Malone. I really do. I like a lot of his music. That being said, we can't deny the fact that he does look like the underside of a school desk. He really does. That's the best description there is for him. <laughs> Me pausing my music, but leaving my earphones in to eavesdrop on people's conversations. You've done that. Don't lie. We've all done that. When was the exact moment you realized humans were not going to make it as a species? Open box before eating pizza. Couple other things, but uh, this is a very good indicator that we are screwed. We're screwed. Another one is that on alcoholic beverages, they are supposed to put that pregnant women shouldn't drink alcohol on the bottles as a warning. We're screwed, guys. We're screwed. Took me a minute. We haul used groceries. Take a look at this video used to shoot a watermelon using an AR-15. AR-15. <laughs> uh, this is an old clip, but very good reminder of what uh, a lot of these anti-gun activists, this is what they know. How their knowledge, the depth of their knowledge on guns. Amazing. I am a mature adult. I am a mature adult. I am a mature adult. Hubble just spouted something massive coming out of Uranus. I am a mature adult. I am a mature adult. <laughs> Grow up. Grow up. I had a dog named Five Miles so I could tell people I walked five miles. But today I ran over five miles. Come on, man. Ooh, that's, that's sad. Girls have a hard time choosing where to eat. Because the last time they chose, they doomed all of humanity. It all makes sense now. That's, uh, that's where it's rooted. Mm -hmm. Don't let the video fool you. Seals are dangerous. I heard a group of them killed Bin Laden. It's a, I mean, it's a fact check true, but dude, grow up. At the hardware store, me, how much is a two by four? Cashier, two by fours are $10 a piece. Me, for $10, those MFers better be straight. The two by fours. <laughs> hey, hey, to be fair to these guys, uh, one of them was just doing it for the meth. He pretty much said that, so... And the other guy, I'm pretty sure, has a wife and a kid now. So maybe they're both just doing it for the meth. I don't know. Me and my friends still laughing in hell at the dumb sh that got us sent there. Guys, many of you watching this, I know you are. I know you laughed at some of the stuff in the past. You're already going to hell, so let's just roll with it, right? And keep posting the memes. Don't stop. Walking across the shop to get something out of my toolbox. Me, when I get to my toolbox... Every time. I don't know why. You always forget. When you're you're going to get something, going to get a tool, you forget when you get there. 100 pound shrimp caught in Florida. Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoever made this, you're going to hell. You are going to hell. Um, that being said, it's it's kind of factual because we all know Bubba would love this. And I can't even believe that a hundred pound shrimp is actually real. Can we confirm this? Is this an actual thing? A hundred pound shrimp? I'm easily attracted to men with power. Just paid my light bill. <laughs> Quit being a smart ass, all right? Quit being a smart ass. Not a cell phone in sight. Just people living in the moment. Those were the days. Those were the days, man. Just living in the moment. <laughs> what happens when a creative kid has a creative mom? My mom would have gave me a creative ass whooping. <laughs> 
for that, that's a that is a big, big uh, no, no right there. Wooden spoon for sure. If we were kids, what it's like to live in California? Oh my gosh! Uh, What's been? Where's all your money gone, Daddy? Taxes nine, ten, eleven. Let me fix my houses. But it's okay. It's part of the game. No, it's not. It it's is. Not fun to... It's not fun to what? <laughs> it's the worst part of the game. Oh, it's what? Taxes. Wait till he grows up and gets a job. Oh, that kid's in for a rude awakening. <laughs> Someone is upset with the way this person parked. Genius. There's an idea for you. If you see anyone parked like this, there is an idea. We need to start doing this to everyone. All these selfish parkers. Come on. Netflix murder documentary. But they left one single strand of hair behind. Me. Fucking idiot. <laughs> That's me. That's me. <laughs> This can't stop a fart, but this can stop COVID-19? Yep. Quit questioning it. Masks work, guys. Quit questioning it. Stop it. Stop it. When you realize that ginger is just the N-word rearranged. What? Okay. All right, you guys, we got to stop using ginger. We need to share this. Uh, that's an offensive term. Um, South Park, you go to hell. Genders do have souls, okay? Where's the best place to stand during an earthquake? Me, an intellectual. Eh, that's genius, actually. If there's a lot of seismic activity going on around you, get to the arcade, cash in, man. This is genius. How libertarian are you? Me. If I had the option between paying my taxes or simply setting my money on fire, then brother... You best bring some marshmallows. <laughs> it's it's tough to light something on fire like that, money. But I would rather see it burn than go to the IRS. Honestly, I would. I pay my taxes. I do what I'm supposed to do. But I hate, hate it so much. When you shoot yourself at your nans and didn't bring any spare clothes. Sometimes I feel like these famous people, they just wear the dumbest things on purpose to see how many people they can get to do the same thing. Like, what the hell, man? Just put some jeans and a t-shirt on. What the, what's wrong with you? Almost left the grocery store without buying a bag of spring mix to throw unopened in the garbage in two weeks. <laughs> all the time. Do this all the time. Anyone else? Florida. America's mullet. Damn right. That's what I'm talking about. Florida is America's mullet. That is, it looks like it. It acts like it. It walks and talks like a mullet. It's a mullet. I told my nephew a watermelon was going to grow in his stomach because he ate some of the seeds. And I kid you not, he looked me straight in the eyes and said, nope, because there's no sunlight. So you're wrong and college has failed you. He's seven. Smart kid. Smart kid. Doesn't belong in college. Three days after we colonized Mars. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. These are literally like waffle houses in the South. At every exit in the South, there is a waffle house. It doesn't make any sense. How do they make money? It, this is like the Dollar General everywhere else here, especially in like rural Minnesota where I'm from. There is a Dollar General like every 10 miles. I don't get it. I just saw myself in the mirror naked and I look like hell. How about a nice compliment to lift my spirits? Your eyesight is perfect. Um, you might be sleeping on the couch, man. Clearly, you don't care anymore. The biodegradable burial pod turns your body into a tree. Plant a walnut tree on top of me so people can eat my nuts forever. Grow up. I'm going to get hate mail for that. People send me hate mail all the time for memes they don't like. Grow up. You don't like it? Move on to the next meme, okay? Don't send me hate mail. This guy... Grow up. Remember when we had to smack the TV because the channel wasn't coming in clearly? I feel that way about far too many people. There we go. When we get up to here with the idiocracy, the idiots around us, maybe that is the only solution. We've learned how to do it with the TVs. Maybe just we haven't implemented this yet. I don't know. I'm. It's a suggestion. When someone says my post went just a little too far, you'll get no sympathy from me. You want sympathy. 
Look in the dictionary between sh and syphilis. I love that meme. Oh, I love that meme so much. This is what guys who root for the Cowboys wear. <sighs> That's a fact check true. It is. It really is. You suck. Bring back Orange Man with hot wife. <laughs> even the dictators of the world, even Kim Jong-un wants Trump back. Come on, guys. Let's bring Trump back. My daughter got caught skipping school yesterday, so this morning I walked her all the way to the front door of the school to make sure she didn't miss another day. I don't know if she's the one getting punished or you. I don't know. I don't know. That being said, I don't think she is going to skip again. I mean, I was, she might have learned her lesson. I will never forget the look on Hillary's face when she went into the home of a working class family. And she has no idea that this is how most people live. So out of touch with reality. You know, they're going to hang out in their mansions, going to Epstein Island, and they're doing all these things together. The Clintons, they just, they don't live in the real world. When I hear someone say, the government would never do that. MK Ultra, Tuskegee Experiment, Poisoning Foster Children, Poisoning St. Louis, MK Naomi, Operation Mockingbird, Operation Northwoods. Guys, all of that, very real is in the past. They don't do that stuff anymore, obviously. Everyone knows that. They Governments don't abuse their power. Let's make it bigger. These are the people who report your memes. Hmm. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. That is yummy. Clap for that one. Slow clap for that one. Because those people don't have senses of humor, and we make memes about those people. That's where we. That's what we do, guys. Meme them into oblivion. Let them report you, get the 30-day ban, come back, make the alt account, keep posting the memes. You know what to do. You know that's the truth. Only in your dreams. I'm staying awake. <laughs> DJ, I'm staying up with you. <laughs> the dark side of OnlyFans. Starting it off with a horrible joke from Elon Musk. How dare you, Elon? How dare you? Time to stop projecting and cool off. Shame on you. Shame on you, Elon. And also, uh, shame on whoever put this projector there. Compare and save. Trojan condoms, $325. Huggies diapers, $22. You know, it's uh, it's a good thing for people to know. All these teenagers having kids, it's a bad decision. Don't do that. I mean, financially, it's a horrible decision. You're not, you know, this from that aspect alone. Come on, guys. Come on. I let my son wear this hoodie on picture day if he promised to take it off for the photo. He didn't. Yes. Oh. Props to this kid. Props to this kid. Already throwing the middle finger to authority. Doing what he wants. I'm not saying that's always good, but uh, you know it, it's good in some some aspects of life. All right, especially when you're on photo day and you have a Ninja Turtle hoodie. Obviously, my sister just got married. She asked me to save a newspaper from her wedding day. Tragic mistake. There was ever a sign. Mm -mm -mm. Coronavirus entering a veteran's body and finding anthrax and smallpox vaccines, exhaust fumes, jet fuel, hydraulic fluid, MEK, asbestos, arthritis, tinnitus, and a shitload of Motrin and alcohol. <laughs> Damn, bitch, you live like this? In case this affects your plans for the weekend, MTA board to officially ban pooping in subways and buses. Man, they just keep taking away our freedoms. I know I've been an a-hole most of my life, but I need your help. You should have thought about that, kitty. If you have a cat, you know that they only want you when they need something. So, it's true. Me in eighth grade. Grow up. Grow up. The mosquito in my room as soon as I fall asleep. Back check true. And then once you turn the lights on to find them, you can't. It's the worst. If this isn't Mike Tyson's Tesla, I'll eat my shoe. Tesla. That's mean. I'm a model on Instagram. Cool. I'm a billionaire on GTA 5. <laughs>
Bieber looks like a roofer that disappears on payday after you give him his check. What the hell? That's the perfect description. <laughs> Where is this, by the way? Like, props to him. The guy's a rock star. He doesn't care, right? I mean, parking in front of a liquor store. Oh, God. That is that is sad. <laughs> In a span of 17 years, 114 people died in a weightlifting accident at the gym. In the same 17-year time frame, only one man died while eating a donut. Life is about the choices we make. Educate yourself. Why put yourself in that type of danger? I don't know if those figures are correct, but if they are, I love the logic. I love it. I love it. I love it. Why put yourself at risk like that? You have 114 times the chance to die of a gym accident than a donut i mean why would you do that 114 times more likely come on guys grown men why are you still playing video games same reason you wear makeup nice little escape from reality <laughs> cold-blooded <laughs> this is only funny because they aren't my kids and this isn't my house that's like buying the most obnoxious toy you can find uh just to be a dick to the parents shame on you don't laugh at this some of y'all never got smacked in the face with one of these when you were younger, and it really shows. I went to Phi Ed one time with a stuffy nose, got hit one time, and that mf -er cleared all my sinuses. <laughs> it's true. This was like a cure-all, man. You had sinus issues, get smacked in the face. Never forget that sound. Every school should be playing dodgeball with these. Now they use those soft, foamy ones. It's so soft right now. Our generations, they have no idea. I feel like I was at the tail end when we still use these a little bit. Me logging into Facebook to share my dumbass memes. Hey, you guys. <laughs> if that's you, I love you. You can put your Christmas tree up early. Bruh, my fat ass thought these puppies was some nice ass fried chicken. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> it really does. It really look like fried chicken. From a peripheral view, they look like fried chicken. They do. Me when someone is too cheerful in the morning. You shut up. People around you haven't had their coffee yet, all right? Shut the hell up until about 10 a.m. 10 a.m. and then you can start yapping. But even then, put a put a cap on it. Put a cap on it. Self-awareness, guys. Pug owners. My little cutie. The pug. <laughs> is there a pug out there without a lazy eye? Does that exist? I have to know. We had a pug growing up and he had, it looked just like this. R.I.P. Nugget. The Emmys. Your child. Ugh. If you haven't seen that video from the bottom clip, that's uh, very nauseating. Also, that top clip, the Emmys, is also nauseating. These are the same people telling you that you have to do certain things right now during this pandemic. Even though they don't have to do those things on live national television living their lavish lifestyles. It's hilarious. Girls shaped like this talk the most sh <laughs> That is a fact check true, and I'm not kidding you. I recently came across someone like this, uh, and that is way true. Way, way, way true. Why? Why is this? Is it a confidence thing? Like a, like a Napoleon syndrome for women? I don't know. If you don't get this, don't talk to me. Halloween is right around the corner. If you need a good costume, this is amazing. I don't think I've ever seen anyone dress up like this. That is a great one. And if you don't know who this is, say so in the comments right now so everyone can ream you and, and direct you where you need to go to watch a great movie. This thing on the horizon is the German Bagger 288. An excavator that stands 96 meters tall, is 240 meters long, and weighs 13,000 tons. Built in 1978, it's the largest land vehicle in existence. It's so big that your mom uses it as a pizza cutter. <laughs> Grow up! Mom jokes, your mama so fat jokes. I have to be honest, I didn't expect that coming at the end there. When a car changes lanes to pass you and gets stuck behind a slower car. It's one of my guilty pleasures. I love that. You're going five to 10 over in the left lane and suddenly they speed up on you and try to pass you and it's like, ah, sorry, bud. Breaking the law with you, but I don't want you to break the law more than me, okay? Me, I don't think 2021 could get any more weird. 2021. 
Like I said, she's going in like she's some sort of royalty to give this speech. Followed by some little kid that got off the Mayflower and has this evil look on her face. Um, what the F is going on here in 2021, man? Just when I thought this lady was gone forever, like she's making an appearance again. This is not good, you guys. Marines after being called soldier. It's Marine. <laughs> okay. If you really want to piss off Marine, tell them, say this exact phrase. Well, technically the Marines are part of the Navy. Say that and see what happens. You might get your ass beat, so careful. The correspondent the BBC sent to cover the petrol shortage this morning is called Phil McCann. Phil McCann? Like, Phil my can, get it? <laughs> I, I do want to know, did they do this on purpose? Because that is kind of funny. Kind of a dick move, too, you know? LOL. Cope. You live in Kentucky. Why do you give a F about California's governor? You conservatives are all the same. Your profile says you live in New York, and all your tweets are about Texas voting laws? F you. Block. <laughs> I love Twitter. I, I really do. Oh, I love it. This is why it's such a waste of time. Shh. I told there was Mozart. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, that kid's gonna come out perfect. <laughs> when servers and kitchen staff date. <laughs> that is like the best description I've ever seen about these relationships. This doesn't make sense, man. It doesn't make any sense at all. Husband, let's make out. Wife, wait a second. Baby is crying. I have to deal with him first. Baby. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Parents, this is your baby. <laughs> My financial status. I just rinsed off a paper plate. <laughs> All right, I know exactly where you are. I've been there. <laughs> you're going to you're going to make it man hang in there. Just pay off the debt. Listen to Dave Ramsey, get the debt snowball rolling. You can do this. Get an extra job, get rid of the car payment, get rid of the credit card debt. You can do this, man. <laughs> if the spending bill costs zero, why raise the debt ceiling? Oh, God, I don't know. I don't know. It costs zero dollars, right? So why raise the debt ceiling? Oh, I have an idea. Let's just print trillion dollar coins, which is that's actually happening. They're going to mint a trillion dollar coin to solve all the problems. I swear to God, that's the that's the solution. If that's so easy, why don't we just print like 30 trillion dollar coins and erase our debt completely? Pfft, genius. Barber, you like it? Me, I like it. Me walking back to my car. <laughs> I have been here so many times. And the worst part is you probably gave a tip too, didn't you? When you're two blocks from your house and you begin to lose the battle. Grow up. Do not laugh at that. That is that is a disgusting joke. How dare you? I asked my husband how everything was going. He sends me this. You're going to give your wife a heart attack. Stop it. Does marketing get any better? <laughs> that is genius. I have to say that is, that's genius. Multiple uses, right? Uh, and those lighters are amazing, by the way. Those lighters are fantastic. Halloween 2021, be like... If you don't know what Squid Game is, this is where that's from. You're going to see this at any party you go to. September 25th, 1926, Henry Ford announces the eight-hour, five-day work week. Everyone boo this man. Breaking. John Gruden identifies as Hunter Biden, so media will ignore his emails. <laughs> it is a little bit funny how they pick and choose who they want to cover when, you know, when it fits the narrative, but... Uh, and I'm not defending what John Gruden said in his emails, except what he said about Biden. That was kind of funny, you have to admit. But, uh, yeah, how come they don't care about Hunter still? When the government is about to default on its own $28 trillion debt, but also wants to track the 600 bucks in your account. Hold up, mother truckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the problem, guys. All those, everyone paying over $600 transactions under 10 grand. It's not reported to the IRS. That's the problem. That's the reason we're in debt. It has nothing to do with any of these people hiding their money in offshore accounts and like in the Pandora and the Panama Papers. None of that. 
And those are the people that are making these rules for us. It's hilarious. Harmless prank. Draw a spider on a roll of toilet paper. Might be kind of interesting, actually. Uh, I, I endorse this. Do this. Videotape it and post it. That's great. This labor shortage is crazy. Look, they're down to just one boob. Hooter. <laughs> Grow up. Uh, and I do feel bad for this, this establishment. Lots of shortages out there. Tweet from Elon Musk. Call of Duty. Target audience. Actual audience. Pokemon. Target audience. Actual audience. Communism. Target audience. Actual audience. The best part about this is this is 100% accurate. And if you're on Twitter, head over to that tweet. Go find it. It's incredibly viral. One of the most viral tweets on Twitter right now. And go through the replies. It is fantastic. Just, just go through the replies. Jennifer Lopez says men under the age of 33 are really useless. <laughs> what? By all means, let's give a damn about relationship advice from a woman that collects engagement rings like she's Thanos. <laughs> I'm offended by this. I'm under 33. I'm not completely useless, okay? I can mow the lawn here and there. But uh, yeah, I feel like she is the wrong messenger. She's been in, I mean, it feels like every other day she's with somebody new. Going back to old relationships, back to self-awareness in the previous meme. Self-awareness, JLo, come on. To anyone out there who is offended by Dave Chappelle's special, may I suggest these two wholesome family-friendly alternatives? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. If Dave Chappelle offends you, do not go listen to Eddie Murphy or Richard Pryor. Because you will be offended. I love both those guys, by the way. I think uh, they're hilarious. I think Dave Chappelle's hilarious, but I don't know if these guys would make it in today's comedy, today's PC world. The next task is hold the flashlight for your dad without angering him. Yeah, everyone in Squid Games is dying then. Mm, mm, mm. Hold the light. Hold it steady. Hold it steady. Get the right wrench. If your wedding isn't this lit, don't bother inviting me. Best man left bleeding after being hit in head by flying what? And wait until you hear where it came from. I don't want to go to that wedding. That seems like a, a nightmare. I'll never delete Facebook. Okay, she has a popsicle. A popsicle with a pregnancy test. Please be fake. Please be fake. And I'm, I'm being serious here. If you have this type of contents being gifted to you from your friends on Facebook, I wouldn't delete it either. This is disgusting, but what the hell is wrong with people? By the way, I think there's two lines there. You're having a kid, guy. So with that person that thought it was okay to make a popsicle with a pregnancy test, Good luck. When you lie on your resume and still get the job, police canine. Meet canine officer Nippy Inkleman. I hate saying this too, but I give anyone props that gets their way in there like this. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do. But uh, if you get in there, you better deliver. Don't be this guy. This, sorry, Nippy, you're not delivering on your promises here to do your job. This is what happens when pumpkins are drained of their spice for your precious lattes. Educate yourself. <laughs> it's true. This is true. This is a fact check true. This is what you're doing to the world. All you pumpkin spicers out there, stop it. Stop it. The dangers of marijuana. Beds should look like beds. I ordered this when I was high because I thought it was a giant ice cream sandwich. It's not. It's a bed and not the $150 ice cream sandwich I wanted. Were you smoking the devil's lettuce when you ordered a $150 sandwich? What's wrong with you, man? And they won first place in the costume contest. Dude, that is... Oh, man. What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> Don't laugh at that. <laughs> Dollar tree after inflation hits. Tree fitty. Um, it might be up to five bucks. Five below is going to be 25 below. Sad. It's going to happen. People who trust the governments. The government. <laughs> Freaking government, man. 
freaking government. <laughs> that is disgusting, by the way. What is something you're passionate about? Me. Is anyone not passionate about wings? It doesn't have to be hot wings either. Domino's hot wings, by the way. I love those. It's like the only hot thing I like. Is anyone not passionate about wings? It's got to be universal. Me Googling a phone number instead of answering it. Every time. If you're calling me and I don't have your number, like I said, I'm not answering it, but I will be immediately Googling it. Golden Dragon Chinese Restaurant. Let's go, Brandon. You're going to hell. That's not PC. You can't do that. <laughs> My mind instantly goes to Team America. That's... Google may catch you escaping prison, but they'll still blur out your face because Google ain't a snitch. Is this real? Did their Google Maps car, whatever that, however they do this, did it actually catch someone? Is this a real photo from Google Maps? And if so, can we get the coordinates? I gotta check this out. And that was the last time I was asked to help at a baby shower. That is absolutely disgusting. Yuck. Ew, ew, ew. I love chips and dip, and I don't know if I could eat that. That's that's disgusting. Me and the homies carpooling to work once gas prices reach $4. Smart. Hope you guys, uh, you know, wear those elbow pads, wear the helmets. Why does he have Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue on the decorative shelf? Who knows, dude? Aliens do weird things. Don't even be surprised. Garbage trucks in 1940s. Garbage truck today. It's a fact check, Drew. That is, that is, that is a, uh, an upgraded garbage truck in uh, 2021. Of all the meetings that could have been Zoom meetings, you'd think a climate conference would be first on the list. Exactly my point. Why do they have to go and waste all this fuel? It's hypocrisy 101. Mom sell. Please stop changing the Google logo so much. I like the original one. Mom, I don't change the logo. Google changes it. On my computer, you don't run the Google? If I did, I wouldn't be driving a 2004 Ford. We might have to do like a series or maybe just a single episode of old people and technology. This is fantastic. I love this. Pumpkins age like meth heads. Holy crap. Um, if your pumpkin looks like this, throw it away already. You should have done that after Halloween. The day after. I take that back. I take that back. It's acceptable to maybe do a couple weeks after. But uh, if it's looking like this, if it's looking like a meth head, it's time to go. What I expected my apocalypse outfit to look like versus how it actually is. Never fully comes in the form that you predict or expect, but uh, yeah, this is how we're, uh, we're living through the apocalypse. Bro, where I live is peaceful as F. I swear for a hot minute, I thought your place had raw meat as furniture. <laughs> yeah, who thought this looked good? It literally looks like steak and uh, stew bits. It really does. Zombie apocalypse starts. 14-year-old girls. Zombies are also humans. Think about the zombies, man. You're a protected class, man. You're freaking humans too, dude. This will happen. When the zombies come, when they eventually get here, there will be people like this. Make my words. Family, please, no politics at Thanksgiving. Me rolling up to the family Thanksgiving dinner talking about gun-grabbing commies. <laughs> I always say, you know, don't bring the politics to family events. But sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta. And if you're if you're just there to stir the pot, I don't recommend that. But in some instances, I respect that. <laughs> Modern life sucks so much. I wish I lived in the past. The past. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, this part of the past was bad. Yes. I, there's no denying that. <laughs> but dad. All the other kids leave cookies and milk for him. Trust me on this, son. I know what Santa wants. Tequila and tacos. Kids, that is what Santa wants. He loves tequila and tacos. So I don't have kids yet, but I will definitely be teaching them this. Santa wants you to leave this stuff, kids. 
But make sure it's the good tequila. Make sure it's he only likes that good stuff. We must demand that the extremely wealthy pay their fair share, period. I keep forgetting that you're still alive. Alive and still selling his snake oil from one of his four houses to 20-year-old social studies majors. Laugh cry. You guys, we did it. We did it. His education is on Elon Musk's radar. He laughed at one of the jokes. Let's go. We did this, you guys. Come on. Elon Musk watches this. In all seriousness, this is kind of cool. Richest man on earth. Uh, guy changing the world. It's, it's, he's gives, he gave us the laugh cry face. That's amazing. Me at my son's parent-teacher conference. Is he smart or is he like me? <laughs> it's like you. To give my little cousin a blanket last night. This is the best one I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Give your friends, give your family members. Don't forget the blankets, guys. Otherwise, they have to do this. I hope turkey prices aren't too high. Turkey prices. <laughs> Pfizer CEO says people who spread misinformation on COVID vaccines are criminals. Alexa, who paid the largest criminal fine in United States history? Let me ask that for you again, in case you're watching this. Let me ask that for your Alexa. Alexa, who paid the largest criminal fine in United States history? There we go. We can move on now. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Let's smash. I just bought a Nintendo Switch. Haha, <laughs> I like where this is going, winky face. FBI agent, I got you, bro. Don't screw this up. <laughs> Sitting here laughing at this, but like we do have all of our text messages going into NSA databases. I mean, that's that's a fact what we get from the Patriot Act. So uh, sometimes these FBI agents, maybe they'll help you out in your text messages, but yeah, kind of messed up. Romance is dead. Not in the Midwest. Look at that. Mm, round of applause for this guy. Uh, I think that's a Packers jersey. I'm not a fan of that, but you're doing it, man. You're using the Culver's board, and their digital screen there to show your love. That is absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't recommend this, but you can do this, especially if it's your guys' favorite spot. To the marketing executive daring enough to green light this, my hat's off to you. Green and salty, just like my nuts. No freaking way. I, I do applaud whoever had the balls to do this. <laughs> Get it? But uh, I don't know. I don't know. That might turn off some people. When you're watching your parents struggle to assemble a three-person tent, and you begin to wonder what type of life can these people even offer you. <laughs> you don't have a chance, baby. Start finding uh, some mentors elsewhere. They can't do that. They can't put up a three-person tent. It's over, man. You don't have a chance. 2018. Hey, son. I found a picture of your grandpa. 2060. Hey, son. I found a picture of your grandpa. Oh, man. Mm, mm, mm. This is uh, embarrassing. It's embarrassing, guys. Holy mother of OSHA. Oh, holy mother of OSHA. Look at this. This looks like it's actually real, too. They're on a floating pad. Oh, this is not good. Oh, dude. I, I suppose, though, how else are you going to fix that? You have to innovate. So I, I applaud these guys, but don't let OSHA come around. They'll, they'll ban you, fine you. Types of headaches. Migraine. Hypertension. Stress. Living next to Russia. I want to point out that this is from the verified Ukraine account. The country. This is a country trolling Russia with memes. This is next level. This is amazing. This is And this is on the cusp of probably being invaded. Ukraine is about to be invaded by Russia. And they are throwing out memes. Example, you guys, of when the ship is sinking, just keep memeing. Just let it go. Just let the memes go. Her. I bet he's thinking about other women. Him. Why is Batman one word, Iron Man two words, and Spider-Man two words with a dash? When it's up to him to name the new puppy, Ozzy Posborn, the Prince of Darkness. <laughs> Father faints when he meets his triplet babies for the first time in 1946. This was before the ultrasound was invented. 
Look at this poor bastard. <laughs> Look at him. Can you imagine going into the hospital thinking you're going to come home with one baby and lose a, a little bit of sleep? And then realizing, oh my god, the next 18 years I'm not going to sleep at all? Ah, uh, wow. Sad. <laughs> Hey, what's even worse here? Look at this nurse. She's just smiling and laughing at this guy. Like, how evil is this? <laughs> a rare behind the scenes look at a Facebook fact checker. Hard at work. <laughs> Round of applause for that one. I don't care what memes come next. This one wins. Best meme of the day. Possibly best meme of the year. Uh, you know, maybe we'll do a little series on that. Best memes of the year. But yes, this is fantastic. Facebook fact checkers. You guys are losers. Delta passenger reportedly caught breastfeeding cat mid-flight. Which state do you think she was heading to and why Florida? <laughs> that is one of the best tweets I've seen in a while. Uh, and this is true. What part of Florida is she from? Me driving in silence after I almost just got in a car wreck that would have been my fault. <laughs> I've been here so many times. I should say so many times. I'm a good driver. But I've been here where uh, I do almost cause an accident and then uh, you want to start yelling at somebody and then you realize, oh crap, well, that's that was me, just keep going. So I lost an eighth grade presidential election five years ago and my friend just found the guy who beat me on Tinder. 22, computer science, linguistics, still proud of the time I became class president just to beat someone I found mildly annoying. Get wrecked, Megan. Dude. All right, if you are holding on to that still, you have some problems. You really do. The U.S. military has the most professional individuals on the planet. Also, the U.S. military. This is why we're so successful for now. And I hope that stays the way it is forever. And I have faith in our troops. I just don't have faith in a lot of the politicians that use the troops for their benefit. But this is also true. I can confirm this. There's a lot of... uh. Stuff like this going on. 